guys, thanks for stopping in. When I was shopping earlier at Lucky's, I found a steak for 88 cents, a top round steak. So I'm going to cook this with some potatoes in my toaster oven. So let's get toasting. I don't think I've ever seen a steak for under a dollar before. This is a top round steak. It uh, was uh, $1.99 a pound. This one is like um, 0.44. Uh, tenths of a pound. Um, so I bought three of these. The other one was a little less than a dollar as well and one was slightly over a dollar. So I uh, thought that was pretty good. So I'm going to cook this with some of these baked potatoes. Now these, these are big baking potatoes. I actually paid a dollar sixty one for those two potatoes. So uh, <laughs> they cost more than that steak did. So I'm just going to uh, cook these first because they'll probably take about an hour. So um, I'll cook these first and then cook the steak after because it'll probably cook in a couple minutes. It's not even worth firing up my grill to do that thing. So basically just going to rub these with some olive oil. Just sprinkle the outside with a little bit of kosher salt. And uh, <clears throat> we'll get these cooking first. One more thing. I think I'll poke a hole in these just... Uh, to make sure they don't explode. I've never had one explode in my toaster oven, but I did have one blow up in the big oven once. Makes a huge mess. I set the oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm using a cast iron skillet. Sometimes I just put them right on the, directly on the oven rack, but since the oven's brand new, I'm trying to keep it clean for a while. While those potatoes are cooking, I'll, uh, Get my steak out and season it up here. Pretty thin steak, but hey, for 88 cents, who's complaining? There's no fat or bones in that. That's pure meat. So uh, I'm just going to season it with a little bit of kosher salt. There we are. And a little bit of... Uh, Johnny's seasoned pepper. My wife doesn't like pepper, but I'll make a, one of the other steaks, a separate steak for her. That looks pretty good to me. As soon as the potatoes are done, we'll get that into the oven. It's been about 50 minutes, so let's check the potatoes here. I did turn them over. I didn't really know if I needed to, but I did. That one there seems pretty soft. That bigger one is a little firm still. I'm going to pull the smaller one out. Let that one cook for about five more minutes or so. The other potato is done and I moved the oven rack up and I set the oven to broil. And this is such a thin steak, it shouldn't take any time. Probably not much more than a minute or two per side. Plus the steak's been sitting on the counter so it's up to room temperature. It's been two minutes, so let me take a look here. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm gonna flip it over. And we'll do that side for a minute or two, and then we'll get it out of there. It's been about one minute on that side, so let's see how it looks there. I think that is done. Well, let's see how this 88 cent steak turned out. And it, 80 cent baked potato, so that's $1.68. And I don't think those few vegetables right there cost 32 cents. So this is a steak dinner for less than $2. <laughs> that's not a bad deal. All right, cut into this baby and let's see how it looks. Pretty thin, but there's a little pink in the middle there. I didn't do too bad. Let's try that out. Oh man, this is actually pretty good. I'm not complaining. <laughs> That's actually really good. Well, that turned out pretty darn good for an inexpensive meal. So if you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and tell a few people where they can find easy cooking ideas that are pretty cheap sometimes too. <laughs> See you guys.